It's Friday. Did I scare you, Fina? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. It's Friday. Uh, the sun's out right now. It's bathing the 36 or the 35. It's out there bathing. It's got a little bit of water on it still. I'm watching it, though. The sun's out looking at it. Maybe, maybe later on today, have a little fun, go out and play with it, maybe. But uh, right now, I'm still in here on the truck. I have fiberglass, more seams, probably since the video I have. The door lock got cut out and welded up. Jolene welded the other one up. You can see that on Facebook if you want to see her weld up the other door lock, because that's what has been done. She welded that one. I did this one. We basically got all the seams covered, basically, with the fiberglass reinforced filler. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put some bo body fill on top of it, Bondo, whatever you want to call it, mud, whatever. And I'm going to mud the whole thing. I'm going to mud the whole thing. And the reason being is, is I have the, the, the fiberglass on the seams for any pinholes or anything that tries to break out, just trying to be precautious. Now the mud is going to be put on to make one surface. If you look at this right now, this surface right here is the ocean floor. This is the ocean floor. And if the ocean floor, I don't have any, look at that, I got a piece of chalk over here. If the ocean floor has any bumps in it whatsoever, if have any bumps in it whatsoever, what we are going to do is we are going to flood it with mud. So I can show that probably, you know, if the first ocean floor was like that or whatever, we got an ocean floor. Or, if the ocean floor has got a little time, whatever it is, what I'm saying is it has to be flooded. So we have to have our filler at least like that, at least like that. The truck is the ocean floor. We have to flood it. We have to at least get it there, get it like that. When we bring the, the flood down, when we sand it down, when we hit the ocean floor, when we hit the ocean floor, which is the truck, and the highest spot is where you stop. The highest spot where you stop. On the, when you're trying to make a straight, well, it's not a straight. We don't actually want it straight. You, you stop when you hit the highest spot because we, when, once we get the water down or the flood down here, then what do you see? You see that. So if you can picture it, the whole truck has to be covered. I do, I do not like having... Uh, We'll, say, we'll just say, for instance, a little bit of land showing here, a little bit of land showing there, which what I mean, not land, ocean floor. When you get a little bit of ocean floor showing anywheres, to me, I, I, I don't like that. I want the flood to cover it all and go just to its highest spot, and that's it. And the reason being is we, straight is straight. When you have a little bit of a graze on it, it looks so much better than straight. Uh, not, pa panels are not made straight on the car, so it's basically hard to get them straight like that. They all have a little curve to them. But basically, that's what's going on. We want to flood this truck out. We've got all the seams covered, so nothing can break out now. We want to flood the truck with body fill so we can bring it down to its highest spot on the ocean floor, and this is the ocean floor. And, and if you think for one second that he's using a lot of body fill to cover that, you are right. You are right. But you also have to take your brain a little bit further. Where have you seen a car welded on top of a car with all the pieces that I have built to make this car? Where have you seen that much welding done on a car? Where have you seen that? You have to ask yourself, as you say, or as anybody says, man, there's a lot of mud on that. Well, I didn't, I didn't come in and just fix the quarter panel. I have built a truck, <laughs> right? If you know what I'm trying to tell you, I've built a truck. Um, it does, it's never been here. Um, there's no plans for it. Um, it is what it is. We did the best job that I could to welding up without warping it, trying to get it in place, get it in shape. But now it does need the makeup to make her the runway model that it should be. Basically what I'm going to tell you. And what I'm going to show you is, what I'm going to show you is, uh, me mudding it up fast as possible. That stuff's a little gooey. Mudding it up fast as possible. 
Look at that now, would you? Yeah, we got to do that. Can we take that off somehow? I'm going to have to. Yeah, I'll be in a mess. I should have known that. I should have known that. Yeah. Just get this body fill off me. Doesn't pay to look pretty at work. <laughs> huh? Doesn't look. Clocks and what? Clocks and colors. Got that from? Nice chain. If you want one, you'll have to check them out. Um, as I have that filler there right now, it's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, I want a little bit more. And as I get going, we'll check it out and see what I like and what I don't like. I'm going to have to do the whole thing. So I like making big batches of fill because I've got a lot to do. I really do. I've got a lot to cover because I want to cover that ocean floor. And you have to remind yourself at all times, when I'm putting this on, I have to have enough product to work with to get the flood that makes it look right. I have to have it. If I do not put it on there, um, you're back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And I don't want to do that. I want to load her up and sand it off. Knowing, knowing that as soon as I hit metal, when I'm holding my 8 inch orbital flat, that that is as far as I can go. Just going to start here, anywheres. have it. And also remember, there's no cars that are getting welded up and not being mudded out. So um, to, to think that something has no body fill in it, you're fooling yourself. As you can see, I have not taken any time. Time is valuable. Time is valuable. Uh, that's what we get paid for is our time. But you, I did not take any of my time to grind any fiberglass off. Did not do that. Reason being is it's time. It takes time to grind that off if you put it on thick and heavy and whatever, it takes time to grind it all off to get to the, mud, to the mud time. Well, I've kind of taken that and said, no, I don't want to grind that fiberglass anymore. So that's why I've come up with, let's put some resin in it. I actually had a friend that showed me that. Rest in peace, uh, a guy used to work with me. Um, we thinned it down and uh, instead of sanding it, we just covered the welds, which in actual fact has made us time or made us quicker because we did not spend the time grinding it. And, so, you know, someone says, well, you always got to rough the surface up. You got to rough the surface up. If I, can put, if I can put some body fill on here, let it dry, then put some more on top of it and you can get it apart, I'll eat it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That stuff, you know, it's... <laughs> you can watch when you layer body fill up on these on these boards when you break it there's many layers and you can't get them apart You're foolish don't be scared I'm not <laughs> I'm not. It takes a little bit of work to catch on to it, but um, that's what basically is. It's work. 
And what can I say? There's so many people that are so good at this that don't generally get the credit that they deserve. And that's because they're behind the scenes. But uh, I know what it takes to fill out a car and get it nice. I really do. And I know there's a lot of people out there that are good at it. Anytime you see a spot that's not mixed right, make sure you dive back into her and get it. Jolene did a beautiful job welding that door lock up today. Beautiful job. Oh, I want to throw a shout out to Gene Winfield's Hot Rod and Customs and Jimmy. They just sent me a little video. I got to see it on Jolene's phone. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. And I'll tell you why I appreciate it. Because he's a man that I respect and he showed me a little bit of attention, and I appreciate that so much. Thanks, Jimmy. Appreciate it. Made my morning, you know. Jolene was, was, the, was the icing on the cake, but made my morning. It's a dirty process getting this on you, but it's some gratifying when you get it done. It is, and then you're on to the next one. And you're on to the next one. I looked at this truck, and uh, I said to myself, how long would it take me to fill it out? Eh. I'm guessing, I'm guessing, but I, I think if I stayed at it, if I stayed at it, if I worked at it, eight hours a day. I could probably finish it in a couple weeks, probably. But I'd have to really give her, you know, have to really give her, spend less time with Jolene and stuff, and that's not gonna happen. <laughs> uh, the fiberglass that I spread on there that you see, that is, Oh, I would say that's three quarters of a of a gallon there. Need the product to work with to sand it off. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. If you do not put it on, you'll be running back and forth, mixing all day. Yes, you will. There might be a sixteenth in places. There might be an eighth in places. That might even go to a quarter in places. Does not matter to me. What matters is that it looks straight and looks right. <coughs> I've done the job where I've welded it up. I'm happy with the way it's welded up. I am happy with that. So I have no reason to no reason to be concerned. Everything's been welded solid. Nothing's been just bought it. Seams have been fiberglassed. I feel like in my own brain that the best job I could do to get what I'm going for, I got done. And if it's not, I'll do better on the next one, won't I? That's the way it goes. I'll do better on the next one. Basically, all in a handbag. I'll do better on the next one. I still got some figuring out to do on this truck. Yes, I do. I still have to make sure th the doors and all that stuff work nice. I have to make sure of all that. Just taking a little more off, spreading it down here. I want to take it all off because I need it, you know. And that's four to make it the flood. I need I need it flooded. The whole truck needs to be flooded.
And I probably will not stop until I flood this side before I sand it. Uh, and the reason being is I know that it all needs mud. Why would I stop, keep, stop working? I know it all needs mud, so I just cover the whole thing instead of trying to do a little spot at a time. Got to get another can of filler. That was a part can. Wasn't too much into that. You can see what was in it. But this is how I do it. Come on over here, baby. Jolene looks amazing this morning, as always. I generally shake it up in the shaker. Try to get it mixed up. Anything that you use from a paint place, you should try to shake it up. Yes, you should. Try to smooth out any little tiny pieces, and that way there I can apply filler without, without knocking it off. And uh, I, like I said, I did not scrub the fiberglass off because I, I, I see no necessary reason to do it. When this dries and the fiberglass is dry, you're not going to pull it apart. And that's where I'm going. I'm going to just fill the whole thing. Uh, we'll do it with an 8 inch orbital. I will, not do it with a, I will not do it with a board file. I'll do it with an 8 inch orbital. I will hold it flat. You can even go as far as you can even guide coat your filler if you want to. Guide coat your filler and see if your, if your highs and lows are where they're at. But generally, I, I can tell because you can tell where it's sanded and where it's not sanded. Where it's sanded, that means the filler's higher there than where it's not sanded. So what you do is you try to keep taking down where it's sanded till you get to the place where it's not sanded without hitting the metal, the ocean floor. Here's the stuff we want, all mixed up nice. Don't be scared, they say. Don't be scared. I'm not scared of that stuff. I've mixed my, my many barrels of that stuff, believe me. Many barrels of that stuff. And remember, I have not just chopped the roof here. I have built a truck. <laughs> so that's why I'm leveling the whole thing out. I have built a truck. Um, that's what I'm doing. Just trying to get the color all the way through the filler. Basically the, what you want to do. If you do not, then you'll end up with spots that are not completely dry. And then you have to dig it out and put some more in. The faster I mix this, the more I put on, the faster I get. The, clean, the faster I clean my, I keep saying it, the faster you do that, the faster you become. Can't sand it off if I have no product. That's what I'm going for. Got to put product on. I've got a lot of product in my plate here, so I better start putting it on. There is no big dents there at all on top of that door whatsoever. But I still need the product there to help with the flood. <laughs> Basically, I need that product there to help with the flood. Because the flood has to make it all look right. Don't want to do 
do that no more. I'm not doing that. Get that filler out of there. That'll just build that up. Not do it what I want it to. And my <laughs> object of this game would be to do it once, not a dozen times. <laughs> That's what I'd like. It would be nice. But that's hard going, that is, to try to get it the first time. But it happens. I'm trying to drag the fill where I need it. And it's up where that seam is. That's where I need the fill, up where that seam is. Yeah. Taking some off there and putting it here. Playing with it a little bit, I am. Still got some time to play with it. Getting the product where it's needed is the issue. That's the issue on this stuff. Getting the product where it's needed. So wherever, which way you drag your paddle is the way that the filler is going to go. Alrighty. Got a little bit more filler on there when I get off. There's still so much work to do if you know if I haven't told you yet, have not done in, any in construction inside the doors yet or the floor, have not done anything with the back yet. I'm just trying to get the body to look right. Um, basically that's what I'm going for to get the body look right. If I haven't got a body, no sense to be building the rest of the stuff if I haven't got the body done. Lopping it over, trying to get the get the hardener through it, so I can carry on over there. Sandblasted the whole truck. It feels like a cat's tongue. If you ever know what a cat's tongue feels like, that's what it feels like. I have, I did think about putting some uh, some feather fill primer on it because I like how it fills over top of that. But we're so far from that that um, I did not want to spend that money on that product when I know this is what I got to do. And the quicker you know that you've got to flood it, the quicker you can jump in and flood it. If you don't know that you have to flood it, well then you can spend a lot of time just mixing small batches and going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Don't want to do that, don't want to do that. I want to put it on and I want to sand it. And what I'm thinking or what I'm telling myself that I've done a good job welding this up, 
So none of it's going to pop off unless you smash it. And if you smash it, you're going to have to fix it anyways. So it's kind of half dozen one the other. That's how I look at that sort of stuff. I'm going to put that on there. Put it on, and then I'll try to lay it out on that line there the best I can. Probably not the squeegee for this area, but. But it very well could be. <laughs> Couldn't it? Beautiful. Don't want to sand that fill. Any fill that you do not want to sand, take it off because it's hard to get off. Slower you drag it, probably the better job you can get. Hmm. Some there. Probably should get out of it, but I'm playing with it. I need enough fill to get that covered there. Can't have that not covered. Drag some back. There we go. I would never leave that not covered like that and amongst a bunch of filler. Don't do that. It just It will just ruin your day, it will. Yeah. Checking my mic. Everything's going good, I hope. I totally am putting more filler on this truck than it needs. But, like I said, you need the product. You need the product. Right on. So I'm basis, basing everything off of that we've welded it up good, we've sandblasted it, we've cleaned it up cleaner than you can possibly get it, I suppose. Uh, the metal has been prepped for filler because it's all rough. Uh, basically, that's what I'm saying. I'm going to I'm going to fill this out even without the foot step in it. Yes, I am going to make the truck straight. When I decide that I'm going to go for the step and that stuff, because I am going to have to make a step inside this truck, no doubt in my mind. When I decide, I'll just grind the filler back a little bit, put my step in where I want it, see what happens. But I really like to straighten it out without the step in the middle of it. And I don't feel like putting the step in it right this second. I've got to connect the hood yet. I've got to put some round rod around the edge of the hood yet. I've got to connect the hood yet to go up on the hinges yet. There's lots to do. But here I am, baking a cake for me and you. Right, baby? It's a big old cake. So we'll start sanding the truck after we get this, like we'll sand it after we get one side covered. And what happens is I'll be sanding that truck until I hit metal, until I hit metal. And you can, it can only be so thick if, you know, I got to stop at the metal. I can't go down through the metal. So that's where I'm going to stop and try to level it all out one playing field at one time. Alrighty. Where am I going to start?
don't really want to get down on that door too much because that's quite nice. But I, I know that I have to flood it out. I won't put much on it. But should have my knee pads on. There will be buckets of dust that we'll have to sweep. There will be. There'll be buckets of dust. Some places right there I want to get in there and bang it out. I've got to take the wheel off to do that. I'll get it. I will. Hmm. Don't want to sand that fill, so I'm going to dig it out of there. So, as you see me putting this on here, the flood still not, will not be right. The flood will still not be right. I'm not going to sand it off and have it flood it and have it right in all the places. And the reason being is um, I, would have to have, I would have to have all the filler towed in the right holes and the right spots or low spots to sand it off to, for the flood. I'd have to have that. And that's not done generally on the first swipe, you know, putting filler on. What I'll do is I'll run my hand over it after I have the filler on, and I'll be able to feel if there's any real like low spots or anything that really needs more. You know what I do? I mix up more, and I put it on it before I sand it. So if there's any spot that needs help, I give it to it before I sand it. Um, it would make no sense of me to sand something that does not have, that it makes sense to you, it makes sense to me. It does not make sense to sand anything on the truck if it does not have the product it needs. There's no sense, or you're wasting your time. You're taking off the other product, um, you're wasting your time. So I like to, quite a bit harder than that, wasn't there? Uh, I like to go over it, feel it up, <laughs> feel it up, baby. I, I'm sorry. I got to do it. I got to feel the truck. But anyways, I, I feel the truck over and I try to look for any low spots that it has that it needs help and I will help it before I sand it. And them spots generally are where you've welded it or repaired it or put something on it or, or done something like that. So it's generally not hard to find. I 
supposed to keep going here, hadn't we? Huh? Me as well. My knee pads on again, I said. That helps guy don't listen very good, does he? Baby, did I tell you I was building you a cake? It looked like a truck. Ha! <laughs> cake boss ain't got nothing on me. I build the real truck and then icing it. And I'll bet you my icing's a lot smoother than theirs. Bet you it is. You'll see when we paint it. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Oops, you easy. Dirt in that one. That one hurt us a little bit. Of dirt. On a on a roof chop. Um, that I'm doing, like if I'm doing it, a roof chop, and uh, I want to fill it out and get it done quickly. I would go right over to my, right over to my paint mixer, mix my body fill up. I take and put some fiberglass resin. I open the container up, I dump some fiberglass resin in the body fill. And I take it over there and I shake it up in the paint shaker. Then I open it up. Then I'll dump a tube of hardener in it. I will shake it up in the paint shaker. I will dump it on the roof and I fill the whole roof. 15 minutes. Wouldn't even be, wouldn't even be 15 minutes. And then I start to sand the roof. And I stop when I hit the ocean floor. So basically, instead of going over and putting some fill on it, putting some fill on it. No, I know I'm going to use a gallon of fill to cover a roof. I mean, let's face it, there's not much in that gallon, but you spread it over the whole roof. You're, you're, you're just getting, you know, a coat really, but that's what I'll do. I'll mix it in the, in the paint shaker, put some fiberglass resin in it, put a tube of hardener in it there, dump it on the roof. And then I just spread it out with my thing. And then I'm, when it's dry, I go, I go to work sanding it. No back and forth. Um, a can of body fill has got to be probably one of your cheaper products that you're putting on your car. It, you know, so I don't, I don't generally have nothing against it. It's not, it's not big money for a can of filler. It is, if you start building trucks like we are, <laughs> it gets expensive. Yes, it does. But you have to understand that there's more welding on this truck than probably 15 cars. So. There you go. Put that on there. I'll get that underneath there done and get that back quarter panel with some on.
That's where I sectioned the quarter panel together, the Chevy quarter panel. It's funny, I butt welded all that together. And to me, it doesn't look good as when I lapped it. It does not, to me. These are 75 Chevy truck quarter panels on this truck. And I think they're pretty cool. I think they're pretty cool. fiberglass work there to do. No. Why would I do that? Do 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 do. Just wanna scroll this down one more time, try to bring the filler down to this end. That's up here. That seems to want to go. I didn't want to do that. Didn't want to do that. Had some hard stuff in it. That just messed me up. That will. One more time. Hope it stays. Hope it's good enough to. Get up to this this little bit here and that door down there a little bit. We'll do that. Just for me and you. I've got to take the jacket up and take the wheel off. I want to bang right here where the three holes are welded up. It was banged in there before. We weld them up. And I just want to get it banged out some before I put some glass on those. See how you see how it's a mess? Yes, you can. Yeah, 
Aiden, some lucky he didn't get in this stuff. <laughs> I'm sure he would have done well, though. Good enough just to do that. Perfect. Perfect. And also, you, you've got to, I don't know if any of you have ever tried it or not, you can make a panel much straighter with the whole thing covered than you can spotting it in places and then trying to primer it. You can make a panel so straight with when you flood it and just take it to the highest spot and then leave it and then prime it. You can make it so much nicer than stripping it down and trying to use as less as possible. And that's where it starts to look bad when someone doesn't use enough auto body filler. That's when it looks bad. Not when it has too much, when it hasn't got enough. have it can't sand it hope that makes sense so the door goes together right there I want to put a little bit more in there make sure I get it looking right We have a mad crow, don't we, sweetheart? Now you can understand why people say, you old crow, squawking all the time, see? Squawking all the time. It's over for that fill. Alrighty, how much time, baby? 49. We're out right now. So what I'm going to do is we'll clean this off. I'm going to get another can, throw it inside the paint shaker, shake it up, and uh, try to get the front of this done. Mutter up. That's all I can do, man. That's all I can do to, to finish it is to mud it up, make it one big giant cake, and then I will start sanding on it. And what I'm thinking is if I don't waste the time putting little batches on it here and there and try to fill it that way and be forever. Just flood the whole thing. Go for it. All right. And I'm going to go for it. It's going to soon start being a nice day. I will try to, this is what I'm going to, what I'm going to hope to try to do. I'm going to try to hope to split the body work up with the race car. And that way there we can always have pretty good content. You know, we're not always spreading mud and sanding mud that we can, you know, get an engine out for the, for the race car. I have an old uh, 47 or 48 Ford back there that has an engine. I have to f find a few things. I have to finish the chop on that. So we'll try to keep the content um, basically on old cars and my interest.
602 comments. Thank you very much, everybody. Appreciate it. We appreciate it. Jimmy, uh, Jimmy Savino surprised me this morning with a Gene Winfield message. That was good. I enjoyed that very much. Thank you so much. You know, hats off to you, Gene, man. You're, you're a big inspiration of mine and many, 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 many people over the world. Guaranteed. I know. I know, um, you know, you can say that a million times. It, you know, it, Gene is Gene, but uh, he has inspired me, and I need him to know that. Thank you very much, Jimmy, for the message this morning. Tony Lombard. Longbird. Looking good, Chad. I was wondering why you left the little key door in the driver's side door. It's funny, you know, we get the messages on that the day that we repaired it. I left it there because my brain was not there, did not, did not want to do it. Um, but it had to go there when the time had come, when the filler came. I knew that would come. It just not, was, was not a priority of mine, that little lock. Uh, we have more priorities with the hood, the doors, uh, the, the getting in, the getting out. Um, there's more priority there. But we did weld it up. And you can also go on Facebook and watch Jolene weld up the passenger side. And Jolene did an absolutely amazing job. She did it all by herself. I said, go for it. And she did it. You'll have to go to Facebook to watch. Thanks, everybody, very much. We appreciate it. And uh, thanks a lot, Gene. We appreciate it very much.